your uh, the Fighters Guild, uh, Thieves Guild. You have a uh, organization called the Black Hand, which is basically an assassin assassin organization. So you can go there and get a bunch of cool stealth equipment and all that. And they have a cool little hideout, and they give you contracts to go assassinate people. And and then there's a war go in Skyrim. There's a war going on between two large factions. You have the Stormcloaks and the Imperial Legion, and they're basically currently at war in Skyrim, so you can choose which side you want to join for that to fight in the war. Uh, what else is there? You're also, in this game right here, there's uh, dragons have returned to the land who have been extinct or... Yeah, basically dragons have been extinct for centuries or years. And they return to the land, and uh, you're actually a chosen person known as the Dragonborn, and you have to, you basically have to eliminate the dragons that are causing damage and attacking everybody everywhere. There's more story behind it because the dragons aren't just like, they're very very intelligent creatures. They can speak to you. And then they also have their own language as well, so they're not just like a typical animal you have to slay. They're actually an intelligent creature, and they have their own language, and they basically, some of them are evil, some of them are good, and you have to go around and basically just remove the evil ones from the land, and... It's a good game, I've enjoyed it. I have... 120 hours on the game, but that's just on the PC version. I've probably played another two to three hundred hours on the console version. And yeah, it's a very enjoyable game. Like I said, I played it a lot on the console, and I have played it quite a bit here on the PC. But my PC version has been fairly heavily modded, just because I I've enjoyed the mods the, and the modding community on PC. That's something I saw a lot when I played on consoles. I saw people with these mods and like, oh, sweet, I like, I want that. Like, how do I get that? And then I'd find out that I couldn't get that unless I had it on the PC version. And it was all right. And then yeah, I eventually transferred over to PC. But yeah, moving down the list here, uh, Escapist, uh, Evolve Stage Two. Or evolve. I remember playing this game quite a when it first came out. I played it a little bit on console because I had a large group of friends that played it. But unfortunately, it kind of died off fast. And the PC version was all right. It's a free-to-play game on PC, but it's it seems a little buggy. I have it crash on me quite occasionally, so I probably won't play that. Fallout 4 at just under 200 hours. I enjoy playing Fallout 4 as well. I have a, a really cool settlement built. Maybe I'll give you a... Ah, no, it might take a little while to load the settlement. But basically, the very first settlement you start off in there. Um, sanctuary, I believe is what it's called. I have a... Uh, like a very very highly detailed uh, settlement built there and again since I'm on uh, the PC version I have a mod installed that allows me to go past my maximum build limit so I've got so much stuff built into this town here that it it's uh, sometimes it's a little laggy when it comes to loading it's so, like I can leave the area and then when I come back sometimes I have to wait a minute or two for everything to load in because I've got so much stuff in the area. Uh, no, unfortunately I don't have that mod. I haven't really focused too much on Preston's mods towards Preston, but I could go and get that if I wanted to. It'd be pretty funny to have a uh, Preston wearing uh, Woody's clothes from Toy Story. <laughs> I have one that makes uh, the ra radiation a lot more deadlier, and uh, there's super death claws running around as well. You know what? I'm actually I might just quickly load this up because I feel like kind of showing off what I've been building in it. So I'm gonna load this up here quickly, and I'll do a little showcase. 
I'll have to watch out where I'm going in some of the areas, because I also have a a poster mod installed that adds uh, some uh, graphical image, graphical pictures and posters and whatnot around. So I'll try to avoid those areas just because Twitch doesn't like those too much. But I'll, or maybe I'll, I will go into those areas, but I'll just try to like skim past them as quick as I can. Yeah, I've seen the one where uh, Paladin Dance looks like Buzz Lightyear. I, I thought that one is pretty awesome. I was going to get it, but unfortunately what happens is it doesn't just act towards Paladin Dance alone. It actually affects all Paladins, so Paladin Dance will look like Buzz Lightyear and everybody else in the Brotherhood of Steel wearing Power Armor. Power Armor will look like Buzz Lightyear. Oh, you can hear one mod I have right now. I got Legend of Zelda opening music. <laughs> I was in a little bit of a uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, or like uh, this, I, I downloaded this one. Wind, uh, not Wind Waker. Uh, Breath of the Wild came out. Just because I was had a major Zelda hype going on. I've been still trying to get, been trying to get a hold of a uh, Nintendo Switch so I can get the new Zelda game. So unfortunately, I do not have any uh, Nintendo consoles at the moment. But we'll continue where I, I left off here. I'll do a quick little showcase of the uh, the settlement I've been building. I am actually very happy with the work I've been doing here. I know one of the other mods I have there is uh, when you have radiation storms happening, there's a chance that a uh, a ghoul horde could be wandering around in the in the uh, got a little bit of a brain fart here. Radi radiation storm. There's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, when there's a radiation storm, there's a chance that you can encounter a ghoul horde. So there could be like. 30 ghouls just wandering around as a pack. Sometimes there could be more as well. So anywhere between, I'd say, 20 to 60 ghouls wandering around in a horde in a radiation storm. Yeah, it's, it's nice that they added mods to the console versions because then it gives you guys like, like some more stuff to mess around with and add a bit more to the game. I'm hoping that they'll uh, add more to the console versions here coming up. I know there is uh, there was a bit of an issue when uh, console mods first came out because uh, people were actually like stealing uh, mods from the PC version and uploading it as their own on the console version to get, uh, get money from it. All right. Uh. Let me go find the center of town here. I'm just gonna look down here just so you don't see too much. I'm just gonna go to where Sanctuary starts. Just cause, like, it is so cool what I have here. Air should be good. So as we can see over there, we got the red rocket. So I'm just outside of Sanctuary at the moment. So if I turn around, the first thing you can see, well, you can see the big building I've got in front of me. I built that entire building myself. I'm still working on this settlement. There's still a few things I'm trying to add, but I, I like what I've got so far. So the first thing you can probably see here is that I've got a mod switching out the bridge going to Sanctuary. Because I don't see why they would have a wooden bridge going to Sanctuary. It would most likely be a paved bridge like this because you don't see wooden bridges anywhere else. So i got this fancy bridge right here. Moving up. Got a few outer defenses here. It's an 
outposts. A little check stop. Oh, I guess I can't open and close that. So this is in my first gate going into Sanctuary. Got a door I can close here. A little APC there. Is that what they're called? Uh, it's not going to show me the name. So yeah, as you can see here, I got some rose bushes placed on both sides just to spruce it up a bit. I got an old tank there as well as another old vehicle that you can go into. Again, uh... These right here are mods, so the ability to place this is part of a mod as well as this right here, as well as all these bushes over here. I placed every single one of these individual bushes. Uh, before I move up, I'm probably just going to do a little showcase off, off to the side here. So underneath of the bridge. I don't have anything in here, but I built like a little hideout under the bridge. I was almost going to use it like a little uh, drug den, skooma den. I was thinking kind of a, uh, yeah, my character here. I got a fancy outfit. So yeah, I was almost thinking about making like a, I was thinking Skyrim. I was going to like make like a little skooma den under the bridge. Got a little outpost here for watching. I also, you can also see I've got my dog tail. Gotta get the dog tail. Well, it's, I guess it's a fox tail and fox ears. Alright, moving up from there. We'll start off on the left here. I built a little bit of a scrap yard, kind of. So I was able to move all the scrap vehicles around in the town into one area. So I moved them all into this one area here. So you got all these scrap vehicles. And then I got a little bit of a work work area here. Chair, cigarettes, storage. Uh, this right here was a garage that used to be part of the house that sat here. I just left it there. So got a garage area that I added a wall behind and I filled up the shelves here with items just to make it look interesting some storage containers some more garage style equipment and then I collected every single tire I could find when I was like cleaning up the area and so far I've been piling all the tires I found so far back here so these are all just, as you can see by that one, they just moved there. They're all individual tires, except for, no, those are individual tires too. So I've stacked up all the tires I've found in this area so far here. Got storage there, storage there, storage there. Added a little lunch pail there. Little doghouse over here, fire pit. A few items here. And then again, then again, these are also all individual items. This, uh, I placed these trolleys here, and then I put items on top of the trolleys. As well as this over here, I placed the forklift, pallet, and then the engine block on top of the pallet. Moving over here to the other side, uh, that bike is supposed to be flipped the other way, but we're gonna ignore that for now. So more shelving full of items. They got a little bit of ammunition here. I got a little cart. I did have stuff stuffed in the cart here. So it looks like it was a collection cart because there's a little collection station here. <laughs> you have uh, Mama Murphy uh, sitting on a floating chair, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if you can get her to sit on the chair and then just have the chair sitting in the air. Maybe it'll like stop her from uh, moving anywhere. So yeah, this area right here, that is my little scrapyard. Looks cool. I got the lights above there as well. Oh, and I guess a crane. Got a little crane there next to it. Flipping around, I have like a garage area here. And uh... None of this was decorated like this, so I added that right there.